question. Uh, thank you, Speaker. No? Canadian. Again to the Premier. Today marks the 37th anniversary of, Can of Canada's ratification of the International Labour Organization's Convention 87, freedom of association and protection of the right to organize. This convention states that collective bargaining should be a fundamental right in every corner of the world, and we've signed on to it. Today, United Food and Commercial Workers of Canada will be filing a formal complaint against this government with the ILO to protest its failure to pass legislation guaranteeing farm workers the right to bargain collectively in this province. Why has this government defied an international body and refused to give farm workers the right to bargain collectively in Ontario? Here. I vote for food and rural affairs. Minister. Uh, thank you, Speaker. The honourable member would know that at this point in time, this very issue is before the courts, so that would prevent me from making any comment on the particulars that she's asked about. What I can say, Speaker, is that this government, I believe, has a very solid record in terms of valuing the work of farmers and those who work on farms, who provide us with the very Jack. best quality, safest food in the province of Ontario. We have done and will continue to work with that sector to ensure that uh, it's a viable, strong industry going forward. It's the industry that feeds our people, and it's the industry that we have worked with and will continue to do so. Sure. Supplementary. Well, thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. And uh, the minister knows very well the only reason it's before the courts is because this government's dragging it before the courts once again instead of doing the right thing by farm workers in this province. Here are the facts. And it's interesting that we choose the, uh, the Minister of Agriculture as opposed to the Minister of Labour when this is a labour issue. The complaint charges that Ontario's ban on agricultural unions violates the human and constitutional rights of Ontario agricultural workers. In other words, your government is denying thousands of Ontario agricultural workers the fundamental right granted to farm workers in most other advanced jurisdictions around the world. Why is this government denying a fundamental right to some of Ontario's most exploited and vulnerable workers? Mr. Minister of Labour, Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs. Mr. Speaker, the health and safety of all Ontario workers is our number one priority. Mr. Speaker, what I could tell, what I could tell the honourable member is that our government, our government extended occupational health and safety to our farm operations, Mr. Speaker. This was our government that brought that forward. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it is before the. It is. If there, is a, there is an appeal, and, and it's around ensuring, ensuring, Mr. Speaker, that farm workers, farm workers are safe, are protected, are being treated fairly, and that's what our government has done. We have listened. We have, we have worked with, we have worked with farmers. We have worked with farm workers. We, I, I, uh, I acknowledge the uh, UFCW is here today. We have, I have met with. Thank you. Final sup, final supplementary. One of the best guarantees for a safe workplace is a strong union that's looking after the back of the worker. I'll let the minister know that. Today's ILO complaint follows a November 2008 decision by the Court of Appeal in Ontario, and everybody across the way knows it. That court ruled unequivocally that Ontario legislation that prevents farm workers from unionizing is unconstitutional and ordered the Ontario government to change the legislation within 12 months. Instead, the Ontario government has applied for a leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada Shame. to review the decision. Why does this government continue to do everything within its powers to deny a basic right to some of the most exploited and vulnerable workers in this province? Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I said, the member, our number one highest priority is the health and safety of all Ontario workers, including our farm workers. That's why our government extended the Occupational Health and Safety Act to farming operations. Also, Mr. Speaker, I want to say to the member that the Ontario government believes that the Court of Appeals decision raises issues that should be considered by the Supreme Court of Canada, Mr. Speaker. So we feel that these issues need to be uh, looked at. The Supreme Court will be able to do that, Mr. Speaker. As I say to the member, this government continues to meet with labour groups. I've had all the labour groups in my office. We've had discussions, Mr. Speaker. We meet with, uh, with farmers and farm operations. We want to ensure the greatest health and safety for all our workers. That's the way to have a